So you do have to have Zotero loaded on your uh, browser. I'm using Firefox. and in, in Firefox, I click there, and it opens up this Zotero window. Um, there's a little toggle switch there that I can make it the whole tab, which I prefer. Notice that I have my uh, particular folder highlighted right here. Whatever folder I have highlighted is where things are going to go. So um, I'm in Google Scholar, and I see this article that I asked folks to get. I can now bring that into Zotero by going like this, and I can add it to my collection. And notice in Zotero, there it is, and if I open it up, there's the PDF. We also looked at Google Scholar, and a very important feature of Google Scholar is that not only can you look at the article and read the bibliography to get other sources, but you can also look at this, Cited By. These are all the authors after 2001 who cited in their bibliographies this article. All right, so if I click that, I get all of these other articles that I might want to bring into my database. Uh, the first one is really not about co-teaching, and many of these may not be. They might be citing that article for different reasons. But I find a particularly important one right here, co-teaching, a metasynthesis of qualitative research done in 2007. So this is going to be a very extensive review of the literature, and if I'm doing my own review, I'm going to start with the work of somebody else. So I want to bring that one in. Uh, and I can, I'll just show you here that I can bring in multiple ones at a time. I can do them all, but I want to be a little more selective than that. Notice this is coming up. Come back to Zotero, and here's the other ones that I just added. Right? Now I want to show you that I can do the same thing in the Millersville Library System. All right, going back to my PDF. Uh, one of the things I ask people to do is think about what is the foundational source, and that's usually identified early in the literature review, so, and it's usually an or older article, and it gets some prominence in, in, in that it's explained a little more detail than some of the other sources. So I would consider this to be a foundational source, and this to be a foundational source, and I would want to know about those foundational sources. I would want to know where that information uh, where these ideas are coming from, and then maybe follow, use Google Scholar to trace forward in time from those articles. So Cook and Friend 1995, go down to the literature review, I mean the bibliography, and find that citation. All right, here it is, Cook and Friend, co-teaching guidelines for creating effective practices. I might look that up on Google Scholar, but in this case I'm going to look it up in the Google, in the Millersville Library System. So I copied and pasted that uh, title. See if I get lucky here. I did not. Uh, so what can I do? I could try, I'm gonna try advanced search. I'm gonna put friend, one of the authors, and select author. And, oh, I think my problem really came there because effective was hyphenated there in a way that this system didn't understand, but Google does. All right. Uh, let's see, Cook and Friend 1995. So I did find it here. So I can bring this into Google Scholar, I mean, <laughs> into Zotero, excuse me, I'm trying to go fast. Uh, but I want to show you, show you some other things you can do with EBSCO. If I click this title, there are other things that I can click. Well, friend, Marilyn Friend seems to be an important author for co-teaching. So if I click her name, it will bring up uh, other articles that she's written, and many of them are on co-teaching. So here, all right, so what I want to show you next is ways you can use EBSCO to expand or contract searches or get narrow in a little bit more on what you really want. So uh, here's an article on co-teaching. I just start with it. And um, one thing I can do is I can click on these authors. So maybe they've written other things on co-teaching if I like this article. Um, but I can also look at the descriptors that were used of this, in this article and see if there's one that seems to be the one for co-teaching. And right off the bat, I'm thinking it might be team teaching. So if I click that, notice what it does is it puts that up here in the search and it does SU for subject. So it's searching under the subject, team teaching. It gives me 5,000 references. So I want to narrow that down a little bit. I might go full text. 
I might go scholarly peer reviewed. I might limit it to let's let's start after 1992. Right? I've got 787 results, and I might want to just add my own term, even though co-teaching might be the best term. Maybe there's other forms of team teaching that aren't co-teaching. So I'll try to add co-teaching in there. And I've got it down to 117. Now probably quite a few of these are irrelevant. And when I start scanning, looks like they all are. So um, I've got this set to show 50 results on one page. Notice if I click Zotero here now, I can bring in all 50 of these at once. Uh, I'm not going to do that, but let's just show you that I can bring in a bunch. Looking for, I'm watching this, and there they go. Now, all these are in Zotero. Um, now, what I can start doing in Zotero is adding tags. So let's add the tag here, method, method of co-teaching. And I'll say this one's method using the same tag. And this one, strategy instruction, method. Um, now, my tags are going to show, where's my tags? Let me, maybe I have to go out and come back in. Okay, there's my tag right there, method. Right? If I click method now, it shows the three articles that I tagged. I can tag every article with multiple tags, and this is one way that I can start to organize my literature, not just into folders, into common things, but things, multiple folders where the same item is essentially in uh, associated with different ideas at the same time. So I'm really building a way to do a literature review. Um, I can also put things in actual folders. And once I've selected things, I, I can have all my articles in here. And when I'm ready to, I can create a, uh, a literature. I'm trying to find what I'm looking for here. Oh, I can add notes. What I want to show you is I can, ah, never mind. All right, so that's a brief introduction to Zotero. What I want you to do is try to um, do a search with co-teaching uh, using the handout to experiment with all the different kinds of tools that are in Zotero. We're going to start next week by um, selecting groups. So I have some activities listed in the preparation for next week that you need to look at.